everyone. Welcome back to We Wild Ones on the Web. I'm Alex, and I'm here at the Museum of Natural History in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, clap your hands. If you love nature and you know it. Squeak like a mouse, squeak, squeak. If you love nature and you know it, squeak like a mouse, squeak, squeak. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, squeak like a mouse, squeak, squeak. If you love nature and you know it. Ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, ribbit like a frog, ribbit, ribbit. If you love nature and you know it. Roar like a dinosaur, roar. If you love nature and you know it, roar like a dinosaur, roar. If you love nature and you know it and you really want to show it. If you love nature and you know it, roar like a dinosaur, roar. Great job, we wild ones. Great singing, Alex. Hi, I'm Mary, and I work at the Museum of Natural History. And today, we wild ones, we're talking about eggs. Now, some of us just celebrated Easter, and sometimes some people like to go on egg hunts for Easter. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about eggs that come from animals. Now, they can come from very small animals, like animals that like to buzz, like bees. Here's my pretend bee. They lay eggs. This is my little bee egg inside here. Another animal that likes to lay eggs, especially this time of year, are frogs. Frogs like to lay eggs that are kind of this big jelly mass in lakes and ponds. It could look like something like this. And there'll be a whole bunch of little eggs in the water together. Another type of animal that lay eggs are birds. So let's look at some special bird eggs. Now, one type of bird that's a pretty big bird is a bald eagle. Have you guys ever seen a bald eagle before? Okay, you may have. It's got white feathers on its head. I have my bald eagle puppet here to help me and I put him on a string so he can fly. So this is a bald eagle. Now, in real life, they're a lot bigger than this. They might be like this big. And they lay eggs. And this is a bald eagle egg. So the mummy bald eagle would sit on the egg and keep it nice and warm until it's ready to hatch and the baby bald eagle comes out. Now, another bird that likes to lay eggs, this is my favorite. They're a beautiful bird and they're black and white and they have a very cool call. Do you recognize this bird? Yes, it's a loon. This is a loon and they like to live on lakes. Maybe you've heard them call. This is a loon egg. It's pretty big, isn't it? And you know what? It's a different color than the bald eagle egg. The bald eagle egg, what color was that? White, you got it. This egg is a dark brown, and you know what? I don't know if you see it, but I see some dark, darker spots on it, some black spots. So birds lay eggs. They might be different colors and different sizes. Bye, loon. Now, another bird that you probably see a lot. Do you want me to give you a hint as what to it sounds like? It sounds like this. Caw, caw, caw. Do you know what bird that might be? Well, if you said crow, you're right. This is my crow. And now the crow egg, it's really beautiful. And you notice it's smaller than the other eggs that we just saw. 
And can you see the colors? It's a beautiful, kind of like a light green and brown, and it's all kind of swirly, a very cool design. So crow eggs look very different than loon and bald eagle eggs. All right, now this could be one of my very favorite eggs. So remember we said they can come in different colors and different sizes? Well, this is probably the smallest egg ever that I have to show you from a bird. And can you think of what a really small bird might be? They go really fast and they flap their wings really, really fast. And they might even make a humming sound. That's a hint. It's a hummingbird. This is my little hummingbird. Do you want to see how tiny those eggs are? Boop! This is the egg of a hummingbird. hummingbird. They're very, very tiny, and the hummingbirds are very, very tiny, and they're probably very delicate. So we've looked at a bunch of different bird eggs. Now, let's go to our friends at Chubanakini Wildlife Park and see what they're learning about eggs these days. Hi, wild ones. My name is Bronwyn, and I work with the Shubanaki Wildlife Park. We hear that you're learning about eggs and nests. It's springtime at the wildlife park. Let's go find some species that make nests and lay eggs. Come on! Hi, we wild ones. My name is Price. I'm a nature interpreter here at the Shubanaki Wildlife Park. And you notice I'm talking pretty softly because I'm joined by my friend here, the American kestrel. And the kestrels are part of the falcon family. And you can see she is native to here in Nova Scotia, but she's got a little bit of blue on her head and all this gray and burgundy down her back. And the males have a little bit more color, like him in the back, but she's a little bit more duller because she's female. Now, we want to talk to you guys about eggs. So this is a kestrel egg. You can see how the reds here on the egg match her back as well. Do you guys notice how big the egg is compared to her? It's huge. Now, kestrels lay their eggs on cliff sides and uh, in stick nests that they borrow from crows and other birds. That's awesome. Hi, we wild ones. My name is Bryce. I'm a nature interpreter here at the Shubanaki Wildlife Park. And it's springtime, so you know what that means? Eggs. And behind me, these beautiful bald eagles actually have an egg right now. Now, an egg for a bald eagle is slightly bigger than a tennis ball slightly smaller than a softball, so it's kind in between. And we gave her a whole bunch of straw to build a nest, but she hated the straw, she threw it all out. In the wild, bald eagles use sticks and branches to build huge, huge, huge nests. And if you want to see a nest, come down to the park, and at the Wetland Center, the Nature Interpreters will point out a real wild bald eagle nest to you guys. Hi, we wild ones. My name is Bryce. I'm a nature interpreter here at the Shubanaki Wildlife Park. And it's springtime, so you guys know what that means. Nests! Look at this amazing paper wasp nest here at the Shubanaki Wildlife Park. If you guys come on in close, you'll notice right up here there's those little honeycombs, and that's where these paper wasps raise their young and keep all their food. If you guys want to check out this amazing wasp nest for yourselves, come down to the Wetland Center here at the Shubanaki Wildlife Park. Hi, we wild ones. My name is Bryce. I'm a nature interpreter here at the Shubanaki Wildlife Park. And if you notice, we're in our wetlands. And we're here because it's springtime. And we want to talk about turtles. Woo! Turtles! I love turtles. How about you guys? I thought so too. Now, it is springtime, like I said. So that means turtles are waking up from their winter sleep. And we've actually seen turtles here to right now, today. And what they're, what they're doing is they're waking up, getting some food, and then they're going to start building their nest to lay eggs. Do you guys know what a turtle egg looks like? Well, don't worry. If not, I have a turtle egg right here for you. So this is a snapping turtle egg. Wow, looks just like a bird's egg. But it's actually way more fragile than a bird's egg. And because it's so fragile, oftentimes humans stumble into the uh, turtle nest and they can actually cause a lot of harm to the turtles. So turtles tend to lay their eggs in nice muddy banks or on nice gravel tr uh, trails that are groomed. And that's really good turtle habitat, but what happens is that it, come, it gets in the way of humans a lot. So if you see a turtle uh, nest out in the wild, remember, never touch it. And if you're worried about humans damaging it, feel free to call us at the wildlife park or at the Museum of Natural History, 
and we'll give you the proper numbers to call. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us on our tour through the Shubenacki Wildlife Park, we wild ones. We hope that you've learned something really fun about things that lay eggs and make nests. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Welcome back, we ones. Would you like to try making your own bird nest? Let's do it. So the first thing you need to do is go outside with an adult and gather some things from around your yard or a nearby park. So we need to gather things that birds make their nests with. Some of the things birds make their nests with are leaves, grasses, little sticks or twigs, things like that. That's so if you can go out and find that, oh, even bark from a tree, if you find some on the ground, you can gather that up. And then you can bring it inside or onto your porch, wherever you want to do it. Um, so I gathered some of those materials here. So I'm gonna try making my own bird's nest. And you know what? Every bird makes their nest a little different. So it doesn't matter how you choose to make your bird's nest. So I'm gonna start, I think my bird, would like to have some nice cushy grass in there. Maybe I'll put some cushy grass in the middle. Woo, I got a lot of grass here. And, oh, but some twigs, that'll make it kind of strong, I think. So I have some different twigs here. So birds tend to lay their eggs in the middle of their nest. So I'm going to leave a little space in the middle here for my bird eggs. Oh, I even got a little bit of lichen that came off a tree. I've got some, got some leaves here too. So that'll be nice and comfy for the birds to sit on and for them to lay their egg on. Let's see what else. Oh, I got a little bark. Birds like to put bark into their nest, build their nests with. And ooh, I got a few more leaves. Oh, that's looking pretty comfy. Maybe some more sticks, make it super strong. Because, you know, a lot of times birds are making their nests up in the trees. So, you know, we don't want it to blow away. We want it to be strong when the leaves, when the trees are blowing in the wind. Hmm, let's see. There, I've got some, I'm gonna put a little bit more grass to make it super comfy for the baby birds after they hatch. There we go. There, now I have my bird nest. And you know what I think I'm going to do? Remember those eggs I was showing you earlier? I'm gonna take my crow egg and put it in the middle of the nest. Now, if you want, you can draw and color an egg to cut out and put into your nest. Or if you have any pom-poms or something, you can put those in your nest too. There's no right or wrong way. Every nest and every egg looks different. And there we have it, our very own bird nest. I hope you have fun doing that at home with your adult. Thanks. What an excellent day we're having. We learned about different animals that lay eggs, everything from a honeybee to frogs to a whole bunch of different birds lay eggs and they come in different sizes and colors. Then we visited our friends at the wildlife park and Bryce told us a little bit about some of the animals there that lay eggs. And then we made our very own bird's nest using natural materials that we found out in the yard. It has been excellent, hasn't it? Well, before we go, how about we talk about a few things that you can do to help the birds in your neighborhood? When we were making our nest, remember we used some grass and some bark and some twigs. And those are great things for birds like our little hummingbird to make their nest with. Hummingbirds will even use spider webs in their nest. But do you know what's not very good for birds to use? Plastics, string, different litter. 
that's not good for our birds to make their birds' nests with. So one thing that you and I can do to help them is to pick up any litter that we find in our yard or in our parks. And I think the birds will thank us. All right, we'll see you next time, we wild ones. <laughs>